Well, we've got him. It's a male leopard. And I'm not too sure who it is yet. We just heard him call right behind our vehicle. And he was taking a quick drink at a small water hole behind us. Who is it? Sure. I can't tell just yet who this is. Looks like he's got quite a full belly. It will be so interesting. That's Okumori. He is coming closer towards us, so I'm confident we're going to be able to work out who in fact he is. But from how far he was, it's just too difficult to get enough detail on him, at least for me it is. How cool is this? And well done to Herbie and Taylor for initially picking up his audio. I'm going to need to reposition. Hold on a second, everyone. Just want to make sure we get some great views of them. Onto this road over here. Okay, he's going to pop out just here. Say about nine o'clock. Sorry, guys, it sounds like our signal's been a bit shaky. He's going behind us. Murphy's Law, he's just ducked behind us now. So difficult to know who he is. Uh, any of you guys got any ideas, please let us know. Take screenshots and... The good news is not to worry, we're going to be able to link ahead of him. He's moving along a firebreak road. Which is interesting that it does look like it could be Kojima, but you're going to need to double check more carefully first. And sadly, it's going to be tricky. Now, I'm going to actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way onto the main road. Um, it's going to take me a minute or two to get ahead of me. So. Let's do that quickly. Woohoo! Okay. So, there, he's moving down a firebreak road parallel to this main road over here. Which means, hopefully, he's going to stay on it. And it'll just allow me to shoot ahead and get a decent distance ahead of him before getting onto that firebreak road. Okay. So what we're going to try and do just for identification purposes is not actually use the IR lights to film him when he comes past us now. And once we've established who it is, then we'll go back into IR. Please, can we not hit a stump? No stumps, no stumps, no stumps. Please, may the leopard still be going along the road here. Okay, we're in the money. He's coming straight towards us. Don't go off the road, buddy. Hey? I think the IR is going to be better, to be honest, guys. We'll be able... oh, well, let's try. He's going to pop out here. Let's try IR. It's just we didn't see him clearly enough and from close enough. But let's left a bit. He's just there. We go. He's going to come straight back onto the road. Now we're going to get some good views. I'm looking for a telltale scar just below his left eye, and it looks like he's got one there. I can't be certain just yet. Oh. So hard to tell. That's going to be my characteristic point. Turn your head a little bit more. He's not turning his head the right way for us to see that scar. Jeez, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look like Tingana to me. So I'm guessing it is, in fact, Hukumori. Okay, I'm going to take this opportunity to just reverse a bit more. 
Nicky seems to think he looks more like Tingana than Okumuri. So everyone's welcome to place their thoughts as to who they think it could be. I'm hoping if we get far enough down this road, he will pop back onto it. So quite a few of you are saying Hukumuri. Let's just wait and see if he doesn't pop back on, onto the road. I'm confident he will. Dan, are you saying not Hukumuri? He's definitely slinking off the roads to avoid us, which is interesting. Stay on the road, please, Sam. But it's definitely going to be his preferred pathway. Oh, this is tricky business, but we will definitely be able to get to the bottom of who he is with a few screenshots. It's very difficult when they're moving. And George, you just said, well, whoever he is, he's a big boy. And yes, he certainly is. He is a very, very impressive male leopard. Oh, well, this is very interesting stuff. And James Richard believes that this is the Gajima male, and that would possibly explain why he's slinking off the road. He's not very well habituated, and it's simply because it's after dark that he is allowing us to actually view him. You tend to find that male or any leopards that are skittish ordinarily will become less skittish after dark. And even if you're viewing them with the spotlight, they're far more accommodating than they would be during the day. This individual runs like mad if you find him during the daylight hours. And it is his usual turf, so it does make sense that it is in fact him. Well, well done, guys, and thanks very much to those of you who did positively identify him. I'm going to take your word for it. And while we... Oh, here he's back on the road. And by keeping the lights off, I'm hoping he's going to feel more at ease with us. Here he's sent marking again. Even I'm just going to turn off my presenter lights. So now we're sitting in pitch darkness. And how cool is this? And pacing straight down the road towards us. Now all we need for him to do is to vocalize one more time. Come on, boy. Give us a call. And it's hugely useful for us to be spending time with him and just getting him slowly more used to the vehicles. Even big old males can be habituated by spending extra time with them. Well, Janet, you suggested that you thought it could be Tingana because he was sawing. I would think the opposite. It seems like Tingana's trying to keep a low profile at the moment and not make, really making much of a stand, as far as we can tell. He doesn't seem to be getting in anyone's way. Absolutely awesome, awesome stuff. We're going to need to keep reversing. He's kind of adjacent to us again, and I just want to keep going down this road allowing him to pop back onto it as and when he pleases and thus giving us some good views. Wonderful. Well, we're going to try and get you some more views of him. And while we do that, we're going to send you back to Steve. Well, the Gajuma male has disappeared for the time being, but at least we got a glimpse of him. And thanks to your guys' help, we got to work out who it was. So massive thanks to all of you who contributed to that very useful information. And I'd like to just say a big thanks once last time and goodbye from myself. We're going to send you back to Steve for the last few minutes.